Hi, Bailey. Uh, just so you know, you're going to be marrying this guy tomorrow. So, uh, be prepared for that. Late there at the church. Wah, wah. I don't understand. Hey, Dad, I want to talk to you about marrying that guy. I don't want to marry him. I don't even know his name. Be quiet. He's rich. You should be glad he wants to marry you. Now go outside. You have farm work to do. Alright guys, if y'all could work on your writing assignments, uh, just go ahead and do that, that would be great. Okay, so get to work on that, and uh, we'll go from there. Yes ma'am, you need help? I don't understand. Okay, well, why don't you open this up, and I'll help you with it. Alright, so you'll have to do this, and this, and that, and that. Late there at the church, again. Right again! Don't scream it! They carry a little bit of a spot of Lucius. Rex, Ubi Hase, Arabid, Erate, Zetet, and a devil in the heaven. But later that night, Bailey realized something that would forever change her. <coughs> Sorry. Dad, I refuse to marry him. He's not the one for me. Well, it's good news for you, because you're moving to the city to work on a cotton shop for a merchant. What? Yeah, right now. Let's go. As Bailey grew up, she worked her way through the ranks of merchant and eventually became a French noble, living at the Palace of Versailles with King Louis XIV. What? So, just so you know, you're, we're going to Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 